always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, after a chilly start, it's not a bad Thursday out there, and the nice weather is going to continue today. The uh, surface map across the U.S. looks quiet today. That's going to look a lot different by this time tomorrow. We have a storm system that's expected to intensify, a deep low pressure system that's going to track right through the Great Lakes and give us uh, a chance for a wide mix of uh, weather over the next 48 hours. Rain looks to arrive for us overnight tonight. It could be heavy for the morning commute. That's our primary focus here in the next 24 hours. We then turn our attention to the possibility and the likelihood of severe weather across parts of the Midwest. Greatest threat is to our west, but we have to watch it here as well. It's going to turn cool and very windy with some snow showers on Saturday. So again, a classic spring mixed bag is ahead. Future cast through the rest of the afternoon shows sunshine hanging on across West Michigan. Notice the wind out of the south. Cloud cover will begin to increase as we head into this evening. Can't rule out a few light scattered rain showers but most places will likely remain dry. Notice that after midnight, we see the wind begin to pick up and the shower coverage begins to expand. And as we get towards that morning commute on Wednesday, uh, it looks like we could see some heavy rain across much of West Michigan. So you may want to plan a little bit of extra time. Uh, a chance for some scattered showers continues through midday. We then turn our attention to the afternoon. Now, there's a moderate risk of severe weather in place across two sections of the Mississippi River, the first of which is in Iowa and Illinois, second of which is in Arkansas, far southern Missouri, and parts of Tennessee. Here, uh, zooming in on the Midwestern portion of this threat, notice a marginal risk is in place to the southwest of Grand Rapids, slight risk for places southwest of South Haven. Again, the greatest severe risk looks to be across the lake at this time, and this is a, a wide-reaching threat. Notice there's a, a heightened threat for tornadoes, especially across western Illinois and eastern Iowa. 5% chance comes all the way to Chicagoland. The threat for wind looks to be greatest, and notice that the 15% the, uh, chance for wind does extend into far southwestern Michigan. And there's also a threat for some hail with some of these storms. So this is a multi-threat system. And as we begin to look at future casts, starting it off a Friday afternoon, here's that low, warm front continuing to lift north. Showers begin to form along that front by Friday afternoon. That really intensifies as we head into Friday evening. So Chicagoland, if you have a flight in Chicagoland or are planning on traveling through there late tomorrow evening, keep in mind that there's a good chance for some flight delays or cancellations as that a line of storms moves through. We then watch closer to, to West Michigan as this line of storms could potentially maintain its intensity late Friday night before weakening as it heads off to the east. So we are watching the possibility, severe threat not nearly as great here as it is across the lake, but we can't rule out a few strong to severe thunderstorms either. Again, the best chance for that at this point looks to be near and southwest of Grand Rapids, and that threat continues to increase as you head off to the south and west. And the tornado threat is not zero either, especially across parts of Berrien, Cass, and far southern uh, Van Buren counties. Here's the temperature profile here over the next 24 hours. Notice that many of us waking up to temperatures in the mid-40s tomorrow morning. That continues as that warm front lifts north. Many locations likely flirting with 60 just before that cold front sweeps through. And we cool off pretty significantly as we head into uh, our Saturday. Winds are going to be certainly on the strong side as well. Quite gusty. Some locations gusting close to 40 miles per hour, especially south of I-96. And the gusty winds continue into the day on Saturday as well. So it's going to be a windy next 48 hours for us too. Uh, here is the chance for uh, some snow showers moving in on Saturday, so very cold air wraps around on the back side of the system. Temperatures right now mid to upper 30s. Uh, Storm check live shows clear skies, and uh, live view at South Haven shows just some high clouds that are starting to creep in. Your eight-day forecast shows temperatures in the upper 40s this afternoon, 60 for Friday, low 40s for highs on Saturday, and we have to watch the chance for a few more storms by the middle of next week. So an active forecast remains for us here in West Michigan. Oh, wow, it sure is, but I'm kind of looking forward to potential thunderstorms tomorrow. Buddy. Yeah, I think this will be uh, many folks' first uh, rumbles of thunder for yeah. the year, so there's something to be said about that. All right, thanks, Blake.